the things that uh, makes a big event at Comerica Park so much fun is being a part of the crowd. So uh, being a part of the line, not quite so much fun. New technology at the ballpark promising a way to skip the wait. All you need is your finger. Paula Tutman is downtown to show us how it works. Hey, Paula. It's a new thing at Comerica Park, and the kiosk makes it plain. No lines for our fans ever. All you have to do is register with your fingerprints, and you become, for all intent and purposes, a fan with VIP access. I like the idea of it goes low, you know, nationwide, and everybody can use it at all venues. So biometrics. <laughs> Instead of scanning my eyeball like they do in sci-fi movies, they just take my fingerprint. Here's how it works. Put your two fingerprints down like this. So there it's captured my biometrics. Then we'll scan your license just to get all your information. We'll answer two questions. You pass the quiz, take a picture, and then you're done. You still need your ticket, and you still need to go through a security checkpoint. But you are promised less of a wait to get into the ballpark or any place this vendor is set up because you and your prints are now in the system. Will people be getting any calls or emails or... No, they will not. No marketing? No, they will not. And you're saying that you don't sell the information? We don't, not... And the information can't be subpoenaed? We do not share the information. Even if the information is subpoenaed? We do not share the information. Even if the even if you get subpoenaed? We, if you, we do not share the information with, uh, with third parties. Is this just a case of people too lazy to wait? too late yeah. to pull out a wallet. It's all about convenience. We went back to our cybersecurity expert, Jeff Inglesby, Chief Information Security Officer for Flexible Plan Investments in Bloomfield Hills. It means that it's a very valuable thing that we're giving up and we need to be really careful that the company that collects it and uses it for authentication is protecting it. I would say it's very problematic because anybody who watches the news uh, will know that everybody who said, yeah, we're good, in the last 18 months got breached because you had a motivated attacker who had resources and skill wanting to get at something. Fingerprints are very valuable because in the very near future they could be used in ways that we can't even predict today. But here's the thing, at the end of the day, when the ball fans we spoke to had a moment to think about it, their opinions changed. Remember this woman who had some concerns? Two hours later, we saw her signing up and registering, whereas the woman who had no reservations thought about it and changed her mind. I actually don't think I would do it now, and I would actually do a lot more investigation. So you know what, Deb, this almost feels like deja vu all over again. You may remember I did a story on some employee, employers rather microchipping their employees. Now our cyber expert says he has not as much of a problem with fingerprinting because you can't be scanned passively, at least not yet. What he does caution is that you employ the George Jetson sniff test. In other words, think about anything, positively anything that could be done with this information in 10 years that you can't even imagine being done right now. If that bothers you in the list, in the least rather, push pause. If it doesn't, your fingerprint pad awaits you an entry into the park. Devin. That is a great way to think about it, but we do have a crisis of imagination about where all this is going. But Paul, you've covered a number of stories like this before where we really are being asked to trade uh, a lot for convenience. And that's the thing that experts really want you to think about. If it's worth it to you, okay, great, do it. Yeah. But at least think about it. Have a conversation yeah. with yourself and do some research. Which was interesting how we saw two people come to uh, different conclusions after they thought about it. All right, great stuff, Paula.